Hey everyone, welcome to the video titled Publishing Content. So let's see what's in store for us. We cannot talk about publishing content without the asset publisher. So the asset publisher, like it sounds, is a widget that displays assets. So very simple, very common, but it can also be customized and it is a really powerful out of the box component. The specific assets that the asset publisher displays can be manually selected from a list of available assets. So we can go through and we can choose what should be shown or it can be chosen dynamically by the asset publisher according to a predefined set of criteria. We could define which metadata tags to use categories or keywords and let uh, the asset publisher kind of take over from there. It depends how much control you need. The asset publisher can display selected assets in several different ways, including previews with links to the full content, this is the default. You do tables, lists of the asset titles, or even the assets with their full contents. So very powerful for getting our assets in front of users. Now let's talk about publications. So the publication section can be used to develop, track, and publish changes across an instance of Life or DXP. So now what is this for? If we want to edit and create changes that deviate away from our live site, we can do these as publications. We switch into an editing mode and we immediately start working on um, something that is not live, that is not going out to our users and viewers. Minor or major changes can be made by switching between edit and production modes. So the cool thing is we can do this at a uh, large scale. We can change the layout, everything about a page, or we could even go down into the content and change a few words here and there. Uh, and we can save it and uh, it can go live when we decide. So edits can be published immediately or scheduled for a later publication. We can also delete them. Um, Everything that we need to control and look at our publications, uh, we can do through this publication section. So I kind of touched on it briefly, but let's go into the process of creating publications. So publications can be created in publications in the applications tab of the global menu. As you can see in the top right here, we have some different options. Um, if I wanted to start editing and making those changes, I could just go into create a new publication uh, and I would switch into an editing mode and I could start to play around with things. Once created, changes can be added to a publication by selecting it in the drop down menu next to production. So I can also revisit other publications, go back into them, and make changes later on. Making changes on parallel publications can be done without issue so long as changes do not conflict with each other. So, say we have a few different publications that are going to post later on, but I might have removed some assets from one that the one after it is going to reference. That's going to cause a conflict. Liferay will comb through and see what sort of conflicts are there, and it can either automatically resolve them, sometimes it will prompt you to manually go in and change certain things. Time for a knowledge check. The asset publisher can be configured to display manually selected assets or dynamically display assets with common criteria such as keywords or other metadata. Publications allow users to swap between edit and production modes to make changes without affecting the live site. Changes made to the same sites and pages in parallel publications will all be implemented into the published content provided that there is no conflict.